Jesus said to the men who would become his closest friends, his disciples, Come, follow me. And wow, when they made the decision to follow Jesus, their entire lives changed. They began an incredible journey. Our goal as parents and spiritual leaders is to guide kids to come follow Jesus. Jesus is our role model. He was the greatest example because he led by example. I want to share with you some thoughts on guiding kids to follow him in baptism. Baptisms may take place at the river, at a creek, a pool, or more often now in your church's baptistry. You may have one similar to this at your church. No matter where a baptism takes place, the most important factor is that there is a head knowledge and a heart knowledge, true repentance that led them to this place. Baptism comes from the Greek noun baptisma. It's the ceremony of immersing an individual in water as a symbol of the washing away of sin or repentance. Jesus himself came to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. If John's baptism was for the repentance of sin, why was Jesus baptized? Jesus didn't need to admit to sin. He was sinless. Although Jesus didn't need forgiveness, he was baptized for the following reasons. To begin his mission to bring the message of salvation to all people. To show support for John's ministry. To identify with our humanness and sin. And finally, Jesus was baptized to give us an example to follow. We get baptized to show everyone that we have chosen to be a follower of Jesus. Jesus told his disciples that we should all ask for forgiveness for the things that we've done wrong and then get baptized to show that we want to follow Jesus from now on. All throughout the New Testament, there are examples of men and women who were baptized after they put their trust in Jesus. We want to make sure that kids are getting baptized for the right reasons. Some of the common don'ts of baptism that a kid can fall into if we don't help them to understand the importance or significance of baptism, they may say something like, my friend is getting baptized and I want to get baptized too. I think it looks like fun to get up uh, in front of a lot of people. Or I think it looks like fun to get in the water. I love to swim. If we're not careful in our training and guidance, baptism can become just something they do and really don't understand the significant spiritual symbol it should be in the life of a believer. We want them to understand the do's of baptism. You want people to know that you have turned from your sins, that you have repented and are a follower of Jesus. You want to show everyone that you are serious about living your life God's way. When should we as parents or leaders encourage kids to be baptized? Again, we want kids to understand that the time to be baptized is after you've made the decision to believe in Jesus, not before. Baptism doesn't save you. Jesus does. When you understand that Jesus is your Savior, when you've repented and turned from your sin and your disobedience, when you've made the decision to let Him be the leader of your life, then baptism is your opportunity to let everyone know that. It's a symbol of dying to yourself and being raised to life in Him. Acts, the second chapter in the 38th verse says, Repent and then be baptized, every one of you. As spiritual leaders in a child's life, we should make sure that a child is ready for baptism, that they truly understand that baptism occurs only after they have put their trust in Jesus. They should be able to articulate that and answer open-ended questions about their relationship with Jesus and baptism. 
Here at our church, we try to make sure kids understand the why and the when of following Him in baptism. We take the kids um, through a four to six week course explaining salvation and baptism. We have close communication with parents to discern the child's spiritual readiness and understanding. For some kids, they may have put their trust in Jesus and understand the importance of baptism and they are ready, but they're hesitant. They're hesitant to be baptized because of fear. They want so badly to get baptized, but they're very shy or afraid of being in front of people. I've even had some kids to tell me over the years that they want to be baptized, but they have a fear of drowning. They can't swim and they just, they're afraid. In order to overcome some of these fears, we take a field trip before the baptism to allow the kids to see the baptistry and get a feel for being up front. We have watched videos of baptisms. Any steps that you can take to calm their fears are helpful. After Jesus was baptized by John, um, the Bible says, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. That's Matthew 3, 16 through 17. Now, God may not send a dove down and speak over us individually after we are baptized like he did with Jesus. But he is very pleased when we follow Jesus' example and are baptized for the right reasons. God gave Jesus something. He gave him affirmation. And we want to give our kids that have made the decision to follow Jesus and follow him in baptism, we want to give them affirmation of that wonderful decision that they have made. If at all possible, um, it's important to, to give them something. A certificate of baptism, possibly a printed photo, Give them a celebration with the family and the church family to recognize what they have done. Something that they can keep as a reminder of their decision to follow him in baptism. Also, after a child is baptized, it's important to remind them that everything doesn't suddenly become perfect in their lives. That they don't become perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. And we still make wrong choices sometimes. But we don't have to get baptized over and over again. We just need to ask Jesus to forgive us. It's so exciting when we have the opportunity to share in the beginning of the discipleship of a life. Salvation and baptism is just the beginning. A beautiful beginning. Encourage kids that Jesus has so much more to offer them when they follow him all the way. Thanks so much for your attention and God bless you as you minister and pour into the lives of children.